Exodus chapter 32, today verses 17 and 18. I'll read those and then we'll speak to it briefly. Now when Joshua heard the sound of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, there is a sound of war in the camp. But he said, it is not the sound of the cry of triumph, nor is it the sound of the cry of defeat, but the sound of singing I hear. So remember, Joshua stayed halfway down the mountain. Moses has been up on top with God. Moses now comes down. We saw that yesterday morning. He meets Joshua partway down. Joshua's been not in the camp, not on top. Joshua's been partway. And so Moses and Joshua meet, and Joshua maybe was close enough to hear some of the stuff that Moses couldn't hear. Uh, and, or maybe they begin to proceed down. They begin to hear down below all this loud sounds. So what's going on? Well, Joshua says, I think it might be a sound of war. Well, Joshua is the general of Israel. So we can kind of understand, you know, he's the military commander. He's, he, 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 there's might be preparations of war going on. He wants to be there. He doesn't want to be up on the mountain. Uh, but Moses, Moses sees more clearly. Moses has been told already by God the people have corrupted themselves. So Moses, Moses is listening. And he says, no, this isn't a sound of war. It's singing. I hear the sound of singing. So what do we got here? We have a religious meeting going on. Remember, Aaron had called a feast to the Lord. And so this is a religious meeting. And uh, it's, it's all this singing. And, you know, haven't you heard of a lot of religious meetings where people are teaching things that are absolutely, you know, absolutely not in this book, absolutely not biblical. And yet they're, they're having a big hullabaloo and every which thing is happening. Uh, but it's, it's, you could tell it's a religious meeting. The people are very uh, excited. But maybe the things that are being taught are not from God's word. Here we have the camp of Israel's descended into abject apostasy. And they're having a big religious meeting about it. And so uh, Moses hears this and he says, yeah, I think this is a religious meeting. And this is a false religion. This is a false uh, happening. This is not the true worship of the true God. This, they've brought in an idol. They've sacrificed to the idol. They've bowed down to the idol. And so you know that back in Egypt, when Moses was younger, he must have seen these same kind of celebrations. And he knew this was a religious celebration. And he already knows they've corrupted themselves and they're worshiping, you know, an idol. So Moses kind of knows what's coming. And he he hasn't seen it yet. He has, He's hearing it. But that's what we, we have, is uh, it's a religious meeting. How many times uh, things are put in as though this is from God, and yet what is it? It's a, a, a meeting of complete apostasy. There's nothing of God's word in that meeting. It's just humans uh, spouting uh, pious-sounding bits, but there's nothing in it that's like the character of Jesus. So this is uh, certainly nothing that is, is new to us today. It's continued from then until now. But Moses has deeper insight, and he says, yeah, this is, a, this is an apostasy, situation of apostasy. So uh, Joshua didn't quite get it. But it is a sound of war in another sense, and Joshua's right in that uh, this is war against God. Look at what the devil has accomplished. God has got the people gathered at Mount Sinai. They're at the foot of the mountain. God's giving the Ten Commandments to Moses. They've made an agreement, the covenant. And here are the people at the base of that. They've made an idol before they even got the Ten Commandments in their hands. Uh, they've made an idol and they're worshiping the idol. But they say, this is the God that led us out of Egypt, you know. And so we have all these pieces coming together. And it's, it's uh, remarkable. The devil must have just been laughing down there as he got God's people off into this trouble. Let's see, however, what does happen next. Tomorrow morning, we'll carry on further.